Hi guys, I'm in here looking for a new cowboy hat. I'll uh, be right with you. Boy, they sure need some air conditioning in this place. I'm burning up. Be there in a minute. Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and in my last video I showed this uh, these uh, pictures of uh, using ND uh, and PL uh, filters on my Mavic Mini. And uh, I wanted to uh, kind of point out something that uh, I was emphasizing the, uh, the uh, uh, polarization more than I was the uh, neutral density. If you'll notice the, the uh, picture on the left is the uh, using the filters and the picture on the right is not using the filters. You notice there's a little more smearing on the left side. And <clears throat> that is for uh, cinematic effects. Be and I, I have never been really interested in it, but that's what it does. It kind of smears things, so it takes out the jerk jerkiness. And in the video coming up, uh, I use a different, uh, different level. Uh, they they go up in exponential levels. The lowest is four, and then uh, this was shot with an eight, and the video coming up was shot with a sixteen, and so uh, that's the uh, the purpose is to make the video smooth, uh, so that it's not jerky, and uh, so that's the uh, the purpose of the ND part of the filters, and I wasn't too concerned about uh, that, but I thought I'd experiment with it. And so you will see coming up, uh, I'll stop the video and you can see the difference between uh, what this video shows as we go up, uh, as we take off, and what the next video shows. So let's get started. All right, here I am down at the vacant lot, which is uh, across from my house, and this is also adjacent to the construction site. But let's take a look at that takeoff again. See if you can notice something similar uh, to what I just explained. You notice how there's some smearing as it goes up? Let's take another closer look at it, all right? So there I am sitting or standing there, <laughs> and I'm a little more blurry than the than the uh, tiles on the roof were because on this uh, video, I was using a 16 filter rather than an eight. Now the, the way the numbers go, the higher the number, the darker the lens. And the darker the lens, the longer the shutter has to stay open to get the right amount of light. And the longer the shutter stays open, the more movement it picks up. And that's how it works. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we'll continue on with the video, but uh, you'll notice there will be vehicles uh, moving and you might be able to see some smearing in there. And then uh, as the drone uh, rotates left or right, you'll see a little more smearing there and all movement of everything, there will be, uh, there'll be some smearing. So the idea is to take out all jerkiness from the, from the video. So. Let's go ahead and look at some construction and some cottontails. I didn't get over here as soon as I really would have liked to, but as you can see, uh, they've covered up the, uh, the metal tube and there are some uh, drains uh, in the, that will be in the pavement uh, you can see there's about uh, four of them, I think. One uh, there, and uh, another there. And let me see, there's one up here. And then finally the one that we saw originally. 
So uh, they uh, have gone a lot further than I, I wished I would have gotten over and gotten some, uh, some film of uh, covering it up and stuff, but I didn't. So, uh, this is what it looks like. We missed, uh, we missed putting the roofing onto the, uh, <laughs> onto the beams. And, uh, this is probably the last video that I'll have of this construction site. That's for sure. Uh, and then you can also notice some of the traffic moving, uh, it, it, traffic is moving smoothly. <laughs> you could say So there we're looking down into the hole that hasn't been covered up yet with a manhole cover. And the one at the opposite end hasn't been covered up yet either. Now there's one coming into the center of the screen, but that's not connected to this system. I don't know where that one goes. But they will have pavement all, all around where you see dirt. And uh, I'm still... I've had a lot of good suggestions on what uh, what this might be built for, but I'm still waiting to see what the final uh, <laughs> result is. I'll probably put up a video on that just just because it's fun putting up videos on stuff like this. And then you can see that beautiful green field. They just cut the hay on that field. So uh, now we're headed over to the uh, other side of the vacant lot where I'm standing. And we'll see if we can spot some a couple of cottontails and, uh, just for fun. And we're coming here, you're going to see uh, one come running down. There he comes, running down from the upper right-hand corner. He's going to stop and look at me, and then he's going to hide behind a bush. He says, oh no, here he comes. And there he goes. He's thinking maybe if I stop running, they won't find me. And I flew around for a while, and uh, I did find some more. But uh, it took me a little while to, uh, to spot them on my phone. So there might have been more than what I spotted. But uh, here we go. This is where I saw there's uh, one running there, but I didn't see them on my phone. There's two of them. I didn't see them on my phone until I almost uh, passed them by. And over in the, up in the uh, upper upper right of them there's another one running around but he's so small you can hardly see him so I was flying along and then all of a sudden he moved and that's when I saw him so I backed up and there goes his sweetheart she says I'm getting out of here <laughs> and of course when I turned to uh, to follow him she was gone by now but there's still one more sitting up there, but uh, I didn't notice him either, so uh, I didn't come in close to him. Well, there we go. Uh, <laughs> that's the construction and the cottontails. I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.